All right, it's Thunder Egg Thursday, Akawaha Boy Rocks here, and we're finally going to get to taking a look at the material we brought back from Dugway, Utah. Dugway, Utah, what an awesome place to camp and rock town. Really out in the middle of nowhere, you know, about 50 miles from the paved road. A little less than that if you come around from Delta behind Topaz Mountain, but it is really out in the sticks, so to speak. <clears throat> Great material out there. This trip really changed my understanding of the place. I mean, I had heard, I mentioned several times, I had heard these comments that all that material was washed in from somewhere else and deposited by some kind of water event or Lake Bonneville or whatever, as I'm not an expert on the geology of that area, but you know, supposedly these were just all washed from somewhere else and left here. You saw the rhyolite flow in the video, so I think it's pretty obvious that you know, there's that rhyolite flow right there. I've even had geologists tell me there was no volcanism in that area whatsoever. Western Utah, no volcanoes. Well, yeah, the, the prima facie evidence says that there was. And then there's the thunder eggs. So let's actually take a look on the computer at the area so you can get a little bit better idea of the lay of the land and where I was. And then we're going to come back right over here and look at the material and cut a few. Okay, here is a look at the Dugway Geode Beds area. These are the pits that everyone digs in and I dug in and yeah, found some cool stuff in them. And then when you get outside the pits, this is the little knoll, the rhyolite um, dome, for lack of a better word, that I was digging in that was producing some good thunder eggs. And over here, where these washes come through, they have cut through up here as well cut through those rhyolite flows that I showed you and there is eggs in there. Now you can see pretty good from this picture just how many little holes have been started all through this area. Most of them did not go down deep enough to get to anything. So I just, I really have a feeling all of these areas, like over here, um, they've all just about, I think, have rhyolite in them and would probably yield some thunder eggs. But for sure, this area and these areas over here. Now, as I back out, you can see just how much BLM land there is. Then there's some state land. I don't know if this is the school trust land or not, but Utah has a school trust. There is a rock counting permit for you know, 20, 25 bucks or something a year that you have to send off. So this is another reason to use Gaia. It's got the um, land boundaries so you can know where you are. You know, pretty much the whole big area around Dugway is BLM, but if you decided to get, you know, head off somewhere and do some exploring, you could get into some other type of property. And then way out, there is. Um, the Dugway 
proving grounds, all of this area up here. You might be camping and hear some big booms, and that would be this military property. So you're, you know, you've got a pretty good distance away from it, but you know, if you've got your, got your Jeep out there and having fun, just beware that, that military area is up there and the state land areas are here then you're mainly going to be on the BLM. As you saw in the video, I grabbed a bunch of material from Dugway. Um, you know, quite a few broke on me, but that's okay. I can face cut them. You know, I've got ones like this where one part of it's pretty much a loss, but the Look like I'll have a pretty good egg right there. Yeah, again, face cut. Lots of little things, little tiny eggs. Picked up a bunch of them. Picked up some of the rhyolite with the eggs in it. Egg clusters. And then got some decent size I think this is kind of a tube. This is probably going to be one of my better, I think going to be an actual whole egg there. Got a whole egg here. That one's really light. And got some other medium sized ones. This is one I was really looking forward to doing something with. But shipping was just not nice to this one. So that's a shame. This piece, maybe there's enough there to get a face cut and still show something. And then you know, maybe I can get this cleaned up a little bit. This piece, eh, I don't know. You, you just, you lose a little bit. You know, I've got no choice but to ship these things back and I try to pack them well, but you just lose some. So that is what I brought back. I've got two more boxes of the same under there. So I will pick out a variety from the little ones to the broken ones to some of the nicer ones and saw them up. Here is that egg I showed you with the completely busted half. So I've got it clamped in there to try and get the most out of the one half and pretty much count that half as a loss. So let's cut it and we will see what happens. I went to Dugway in October. It's now March that I'm filming this part. So I've been waiting to do this for a while. Wow. Given that, I did not expect to have a half that looked that nice. Let's see what, what I thought would be the good half looks like. Okay, not bad. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting this. Got a, a crystal pocket, but it would have been nice if I had left it over here. All right, well, let's take that over to the kitty litter and load up another egg. Okay, I've got that, what I think is the biggest egg in there. Gonna cut 
cut it and see what happens. Just broke through. Well, doesn't look like much now. Hopefully when I clean that look out of there, it'll look better. Looks about the same. I think that's got real promise. That look's going to come out of there. And we'll see what it looks like. I don't know if this is going to be an individual egg or a cluster of eggs. But in just about four or five minutes, I'll know. Here we are, through another big one, or maybe it's a bunch of little ones, I don't know, what do I know, not much. Okay, so it was one egg, it's almost a uh, egg, either egg in egg or egg still embedded in the rhyolite. A definite egg structure there. Very little agate. But a nice pocket. So let's clean that up. And yep, same thing here. We'll clean them up, see what they look like. All right, here are some others I've picked to cut. Got a broken one here with some nice crystal structure inside, so I'm going to face cut that. Another broken one there. Got a double. This one's really light. Good pressure riches, good structure. One little broken piece there. That should look good cut. And then a bunch of small ones. All right, there's one I want to face. This is a really precarious cut to make. I'm trying to save some of the crystal formation in there. Might come back. Just another hair, maybe right there. And I'm going to try and cut it. That blade's going to want to deflect, so I'm going to hold it as I lower it down to give it time to get a flat cut. Okay, I had quite a bit of trouble getting this to cut like I wanted it to. I knew I might. But let's see if I can get it out of there. Okay, so down here at the bottom it's still a little rough. But I actually opened up a, another little one over here I wasn't expecting. And I saved all my crystal structure in there. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, this one is going to go on the crown saw. Oh. Hmm. Don't remember what that one's from. So it's going to go 
and my makeshift egg holder here. Here's my next face cut. I think I've got a lot more leeway on where I do this one. So I'm just gonna cut that off and see how it looks. Well, I usually don't cut this much material from one location, but I brought so much back and I like this location so much, I thought I would. I'm gonna start with a piece I didn't show you in the first look. This was a bonus I really wasn't expecting. A uh, piece of the perlite, and I can't think of anything else those red things would be but decaying garnets. Didn't know they formed in perlite. If you have a different better idea if you know that area let me know in the comments but they sure look like decaying garnets okay next up the two that were broken i think these are great examples of why it never hurts to pick up a broken thunder egg turn my light on there so you can see down in there Looks like some iron out or something might be in order for this one. But really deep cavity with that sugar druzy in it. And I love the Dugway Rhyolite. That banding to me is just gorgeous. Another one, really neat crystal patterns in there. Little double. So those were the two broken ones. I think I kind of showed you these bigger ones. But let's look at them cleaned up a little bit. They, of course, could use some more cleaning, that is. Uh, this one's pretty darn fractured up. It's got that really nice crystal pocket that I don't know how it would, you know, if I cut it and cut it deeper in, it would have, not sure it would have come out a lot better. That side's pretty. Whoop. Well, not so much for that. I told you it was fractured. Half just broke off. All right. Then this one, this one I'll definitely polish up. It's just like Swiss cheese or bone marrow or something in there, but nice sliver moon shaped druzy pocket and to me this is one of the in most interesting thunder egg halves i have so i mentioned it almost looks like an egg in egg you can see a definite border going around and you've got almost like an angel wing thing going on there. You've got the druzy with a couple of slightly larger points. Got some other cavities. Um, down here, the rhyolite in this ag, it almost looks mossy or plumy. I know it's not because it's rhyolite, but got, that's really interesting to me. So I think that's just a very cool egg. Let me excuse the camera jumping all over while I switch hands and get this other piece. This one's got little crystal flower that I cut into there. All right, so you had seen those. I don't think I showed you any of these little ones. So here's 
little triple I pulled out of the tailings. How about that? There's betroidal, there's fins of, for lack of a better word, of Druzy Crystal. The right hand side's just a regular Druzy Crystal pocket, but that left side's got so much going on in there. And it, is, it was a triple, they just weren't lined up where I could cut through them all very well. That's a keeper for sure. And this one. You can't ask for much more than that. And got some good size points back there in the back. Yeah, of course, some of them are a little more plain. That one's got a nice druzy pocket. Solid egg there. Another solid one. Mostly solid. A little bit of a pocket. That's probably one of the least interesting ones. Fumble fingers. Nice cavity in that one. So these little ones can be quite neat. Yeah, that one's not so hot. And then I think that leaves me with this one. So this is one of the ones that I said was just really well formed. Very classic Thunder Egg pressure ridges. And then this is why I pick so many of these up. Well, that half still got kitty litter in it. So let's look at this half beautiful pointed pattern, the nucleus, um, I cannot remember ever the name of that part of the formation, but you've got that nucleus or button there with the corresponding um, in, indention over there. You've got Druzy all in it. So, you know, what's that? A little bit bigger than my thumbnail? and just gorgeous all right so that is the material from dugway well i know that got to be a long video i almost never give you anything over 30 or 45 minutes i don't know this will probably be pushing an hour by the time it's done but I really wanted to give Dugway a good treatment because there's, I think, a lot of bad information out there. People just say, dig in those pits, dig in those pits, you'll get, you know, you'll get down to the ground. And that's what I thought. And I've seen videos of people just pulling buckets and buckets of good eggs out of that part of the pit. But I just think they've been gone through and gone through for so many decades, they are starting to dwindle. So I was really happy to find an area where I could do some more conventional thunder egg digging. Um, I was a little disappointed that this, that one good big one that I was so excited about when I dug it out, ended up in so many pieces when it got 
here to Florida, but you know, pun intended, that's the breaks when you have to ship that kind of stuff. You know, of course, given the opportunity, I'll be back at Dugway in a minute. If for nothing else, the solitude of the camping, but the uh, digging is definitely worthwhile. I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, while you're in the area, look up the Boneyard and Delta. If you like stuff like Picasso marble and things like that on the super cheap, uh, I missed I missed the guy this last time, uh, but it's a great place to go. Just go through piles of reject rock that's actually better than a lot of the material you'll see on eBay. So anyway, I will see you next Thunder Egg Thursday.